the day we found out the merger was happening, uh, the, all the employees, I believe, were uh, called to a meeting. An announcement was made that Carling and Molson was going to merge, and for about a week, uh, that's all we were thinking about. And when they purchased it, you knew it was a matter of time. So you, ha- you get the feeling that something's going to happen. It was scary because uh, it was either moved to Calgary or Regina or just be without a job. At the one point, we didn't know what breweries would be staying open, what wouldn't be staying open, but you kind of get an idea. There was no warning or pre-warning that it was coming. It was just bang. So in a lot of cases, wives were phoning their husbands and telling them the news. So <laughs> that's the way it was handled. I felt it was relatively inevitable. Uh, for several years, we had been thinking about what was happening in the industry. Uh, all through the 80s, uh, plants were closing across the country. Do you remember what you thought when you heard Carling and Molson were merging? Well, it was sad. It was sad to see because we knew that uh, it was going to go down. It was written. 